Good morning. We are here in Belgrade, Serbia on our 10 day trip. Um, we're going to Belgrade, Istanbul and Bodrum. We landed last night. We took Turkish Airlines for the first time, me and my boyfriend who's still in bed. Um, the airlines was uh, really, it was nice and um, they took a lot of like precautions. Like I, when we went on the plane, they gave us a little hygiene kit with a hand sanitizer and a mask. Um, all of the food was pre-packaged, so it came in like boxes. Um, it was like cold sandwiches and stuff, but mainly since it was an overnight flight, I was just sleeping pretty much for the um, majority of the flight. Anyways, we landed in Belgrade at night, then we took um, a couple of buses here to our Airbnb, which I'll show in a little bit. The reason why I've always wanted to come to Belgrade is because one of my favorite YouTubers, Tamara, she is from Belgrade and she said a lot of good things about Serbia before. So I've just always been interested and I feel like you don't really hear a lot about Serbia online. Um, it's just a very fascinating country. They've been through a lot of war, a lot of... Um, like destruction so it's we're gonna be actually taking a tour later today to learn a little bit more about that um, anyways let me show the Airbnb it was really affordable only like $30 a night yeah very affordable here it's very uh, small but it's very convenient and it pretty much has everything that you need for like a short stay here so this is the door that you walk in and as you can see there's like a wardrobe cabinet um, a TV and a sink with all that you need and some storage here. Here you have the seating area, which is where we put our luggage on. <laughs> um, and then here you have the bed, which was really comfortable. Um, and then stepping out here, there is a nice balcony. There's some construction going on right now, so I might not show uh, or I might not go outside, but it's really pretty already. As you can see, the um, architecture is pretty. And then the bathroom, lastly, is really nice as well. It's like very modern. Here's like a, oh, it's hard to see with the lighting, but here's a sink, the shower, and then the toilet. And that is it for the Airbnb tour. Um, we are going to start off our day getting some breakfast, coffee, we're going to walk around and then we have tour at 1pm and then uh, pretty much just eat and walk around for the rest of the day. Um, that is going to be our plan. So, looking forward to it. Okay, we just got breakfast at this little bakery and I'm not sure if this is direct but I think it is. It is their local, no, they're not, their local local pastry it's like flaky with beef in it and we're gonna try it now and no I'm not vegetarian on this trip obviously I can't be if I want to try the good stuff oh we also got this yogurt because they eat it with this so let's try it mmm I'm sure I had sriracha but it's really good. It's kind of sour a little bit and it's very beefy. It kind of tastes like Asian, but you see the flakes? It's very flaky. It's super good.
Introduce yourself. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Paul from London. Um, here we are in Belgrade today with my friend Ollie. <laughs> um, Ollie, introduce yourself. You've already done it for me. <laughs> Tell us a fun fact. Three fun facts. Yeah. Let's get it going. Uh, fun fact about myself. <laughs> Instead of learning to write normally, I learned to write upside down and backwards <laughs> when I was younger. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot, is basically their summary of that. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? What about three fun facts? <laughs> three fun facts. <laughs> you guys can share the fun facts and yeah. you can say. Okay. okay. Um, let me do one. Maybe we should do them for each other. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm trying to think about a fun fact for you. I've got one for you, it's not that fun. Oh, hey, what was it? Your lungs clapped. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? Lungs clapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, it is day two of Belgrade. So yesterday we did the alternative tour um, from the Airbnb experiences and that was super nice. Um, I did film that a little bit and then afterwards we met up with these two um, people that were part of the tour that we just kind of clicked with. They were from London and we went out to get some lunch with them which was lovely. We had some um, traditional uh, Serbian food which is pretty much just like grilled meat and some salad. Um, after that we talked and we walked together. I'm on the balcony right now so sorry if it's noisy but um, we walked together to the fortress to watch the sunset and that was just absolutely breathtaking and then um, after that we came back to the Airbnb and then we walked to a nearby restaurant that we saw our first night here um, it was kind of like modern um, Mediterranean cuisine um, and we had um, a salad we had a pizza um, a cheese plate and then as well as some drinks and the drinks were so cheap at least for American standards they were like less than five euros each um, so now we are going to be doing um, a historical walking tour this morning it's free um, and it wasn't originally on my agenda but one of the guys that we met yesterday recommended it um, so I do want to check that out because yesterday's tour was more of a modern-day Serbian tour and then I do kind of want to know get to know the history here because it, it's obviously very very important and you can still see it all around the city today just the impacts of what happened to Serbia back then so we're gonna be doing that um, and then the rest of the day um, I do have a couple things planned but I'm not sure if we're gonna go that route um, so we're just gonna play it by ear and see what happens
right, we are at the question mark Kavana, the oldest Kavana in Belgrade. It's like a tavern. And I'm having here chicken breast with mashed potatoes, the typical Serbian cabbage salad, beef goulash. It looks so good. It came with this little bread lid that the waiter told us to share and then some bread. And we're just enjoying our beers that we were pressured into <laughs> from the waiter. We are exhausted. I kind of overpacked my backpack for this trip because like, we haven't traveled in so long and I was thinking that I could fit a lot of stuff in my backpack so my shoulders are sore, but it's gonna be our last night um, basically on this trip. Tomorrow morning we fly out of Belgrade back to LA at 9 a.m. So tonight we are going to get some dinner, get some drinks. Um, we're staying in a boutique hotel right in the center actually of Belgrade. It feels kind of funny, kind of strange, um, kind of nice to be back in Belgrade after being in Turkey for um, like four days, four or five days. Anyways, we're gonna go out now and treasure the last evening here in Belgrade and then we leave. We are at a pizza place in this cute little cozy, super, super cozy restaurant. Um, another fun fact about Belgrade is that um, smoking is allowed in some restaurants, so in here it is. Just a tip for those who are sensitive to uh, smoke. In case anyone is wondering how we manage to read menus that are in um, a language that is hard to understand, we use Google Translate. The camera, um, <laughs> you can just basically show it on the text and then it translates it for you. Got a Caesar salad, oh my god, it's massive. And then this is called the Serbiana pizza. It has peppers, some pork, pancetta, and cheese. Not sure if the video can can pick up my voice but uh, here we have Rakia Serbia's national drink we're gonna make Andrew take <laughs> three-fourths of that shot we got some Sprite and then I got a mojito and we are the only ones sitting outside because social distancing yeah, yes it's fruity. it's fruitier yeah it's like a it's like a Ciroc smelling mm. smell it It smells like a tropical punch. Yeah. That's your favorite. Yeah, let's see. 
<laughs> Cheers! I am gonna be closing off my Belgrade vlog here, or I guess my entire trip. Um, I'm at the airport. We're getting ready to go to Istanbul first, and then we fly back to LA. So I'm in a corner because it's a very quiet airport. So I'm just trying not to be like super loud. And plus, if you're a foreigner here, especially during these times, like I swear you do get stares all the time. So I'm just trying to make myself quiet and less noticeable. And I'm right by the window. So I loved Serbia. I love Belgrade. I definitely want to come back. I highly recommend everyone come here to Belgrade and Serbia. If you're looking for another type of European trip or another European experience, it is so much different than um, the typical vacations that people go on, such as like to Italy or France. It is totally different. I was initially drawn to Serbia just because of its dark past. Um, I'm very much attracted to like history when it comes to like cities that have been rebuilt, that have been destroyed and is now thriving. And I definitely see that in Serbia. Um, I feel like the people are super resilient and once you get to know them, super friendly. They have this like edginess and coolness about them that like I really admire and it's such a hip city, especially Belgrade. It's like hipster heaven. I really can see like the youth um, taking over this entire country one day because um, they, I feel like they are the ones that push um, society, that push economy here and hopefully they'll make changes. Um, Anyways, I had a great time here and um, closing the vlog now. I'm so tired um, and I'm, I'm kind of ready to head back and just rest. So, bye bye.